Human papilloma virus has more than 150 genotypes. Many are transmitted through sexual contact. There is a high risk of developing precancerous uh, pre lesions of the cervix, which can progress to cervical cancer 15 to 20 years later, when human papilloma virus persists in 5 to 10 percent of infected women. Infection with human papilloma virus is the primary risk factor identified as contributing to the development of invasive cervical cancer. A global human papilloma virus prevalence of 11.7% has been reported. The prevalence in Africa is estimated at 21.1%, with Sub-Saharan Africa topping the list at 24%. In 2007, more than 270,000 women died of cervical cancer worldwide. Nearly 85% of them occurred in developing countries. Annual number of cervical cancer cases in Nigeria is estimated at 14,000, with 8,240 dying annually, women dying annually of cervical cancer. Cervical cancer accounts for 73% of all gynecologically oncology cases at Amadibelo University Teaching Hospital Zaria, an area where human papilloma virus prevalence has been reported, also an area where this study was conducted. Infection with human papilloma virus is diagnosed by detecting either antibodies or antigen to human papilloma virus in the serum or by detection of human papilloma virus DNA. The aim of this study was therefore to determine the seroprevalence of human papilloma virus IgG antibody amongst women of reproductive health who were attending the reproductive health clinic of Ahmed Bello University Teaching Hospital Zaria. 350 women were enrolled, enrolled in the study and blood samples were collected from them. Serum from the blood were analyzed using ELISA. Serum samples the, using ELISA had been prior to collection of samples. A structural questionnaire was used to collect data on sociodemography, reproductive characteristics, and risk factors. At the end of the analysis, a seroprevalence of 42.9 was obtained. It means that 150 of the 350 women had IgG antibodies to human papilloma virus, which means that they were infected. Women within age group 45 to 49 years old and those who had their sexual debut within age group 20 to 23 years old had the highest seroprevalence of human papilloma virus. The antibodies varied with social demographic factors studied and was significantly associated with educational status of the women, the tribe of the women, and religion. The human papilloma virus infection also varied with the reproductive characteristics and sexual behavior of the women, but it did not reach statistically significant difference. Antibodies to human papilloma virus were also detected with similar frequency among women with a family history of cervical cancer and those with a sign of genetic disorder. We want to conclude that since 42.9% of these women had antibodies to human papilloma virus, it means that these women were actually infected. And it means that human papilloma virus is circulating with high prevalence in the study area. And in 10% of these infected women, the virus may persist and lead to cervical cancer later because it is known that when this virus persists, especially infected women, those that have high risk, the virus can lead to cervical cancer. We want to advocate therefore that a screening program that is for cervical cancer need to be put in place in Nigeria to screen women for human papilloma virus and detect the high risk genotypes of human papilloma virus and those that are found positive with the high risk should go for pap smear in order to um, prevent the cervical cancer cases we are seeing in Nigeria.